What's up guys, JV2017 here, and today I'm going to show off all of the new workshop items introduced in the Nuka World DLC pack. This time around there are more items than Far Harbor offered, but definitely less than the individual workshop packs, which is to be expected. Also, just a heads up, I haven't completed Nuka World yet, so there may be a few specific workshop items that aren't unlocked until the end, and so I'll update this video once I have finished the DLC if there are any new building options. And also just a heads up, I wanted to do this video in Nuka World, but you have to turn on the power in Nuka World in order to operate the only workshop area there, which is a red rocket. So we're back here in Sanctuary to check out these new items with Porter Gage, of course, our uh, Raider companion. So anyways, let's go ahead and hop in. And there are no new items under the Structures tab, so don't even worry about that. But there are a few underneath furniture, not very much. So underneath chairs, we literally have <laughs> one new chair. And of course, we have to scroll all the way over to it. And it's going to be... The patio chair yeah that, that's literally the only new item underneath this category and then none in containers shelves tables or miscellaneous sorry there is one under tables but not miscellaneous and it is a very nice table that goes very well with this patio chair it's the patio table so if you want to make a nice patio chair table setup you can absolutely do that with nuka world personally it's a great you know reason to spend twenty dollars that's a joke i'm trying to joke so anyways uh nothing underneath uh, these two categories were moving into uh, decorations. There's not a lot new decorations except under obviously Nuka World. So let's go underneath Nuka World and we've got a lot of different little signs and little things we can uh, place around here. So we've got the bottle cutout, which is uh, interesting. I don't know why you'd want that. A cappy cutout, equally creepy. A Nuka Cola cutout, some nice little cutouts here. King Cola cutout. Yeah, so basically if you ran the gauntlet in the beginning of the DLC, you saw all of this stuff. A lot of this was on the ground, um, just kind of laying there. Then you have, of course, the three different colors of you must be this tall to ride. Got some shrubbery. You want that. Some employees only signs. You can have float. Ooh, a nice big tall signpost. That's pretty cool, actually. Some signs, you know, pointing this way, that way, all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, information, exit, let's go ahead and move over to the wall over here so we can place this on the wall. Or not, maybe we won't do that. Well, you guys get the point. We've got, uh, I'll just get in the sun so you guys can see it. Information, exit, refreshments, first aid, rides, games, restrooms, gift shop, theater, nice stuff like that. Some nice fancy retro kind of pointy signs. Got some enter signs pointing in different directions, exit signs, information, clothes required, unfortunately. You need clothes to ride this ride, and spitting sign. If you spit from this ride, you may be removed from the park. Wow, I didn't know that was actually a thing. So there you go. Now we have an entire category under this Nuka World tab and a Nuka Cade tab for all of the Nuka Cade games. So you can place Wakakami, Atomic Rollers, Hoop Shot, the Nuka Zapper Race, which is obviously huge. Let's go ahead and just put that over there. A token dispenser, if you want to dispense some tokens to play this stuff in your own settlement. So this is actually some pretty cool stuff. I mean, you can actually um, put all this in your own settlements, as you can see I'm doing right now. And of course, a bunch of basketballs. You just you know place that near that there. Uh, ticket sign. So if you want to go ahead and grab some tickets, you need to alert your uh settlement to come over here obviously now i'm not sure if uh if you place games and whatnot if your settlers will just come over and play them i think that'd be really cool um i'm not 100 percent on that but that would be awesome so nuka games nuka prizes different kind of signs for the nuka k then we have an entire section for kitty kingdom which just includes this throne which is a very very nice chair i will say beautiful chair so we got a miscellaneous category with a bunch of other stuff that you'll just find around Nuka World. So we have the park map here, globe statue, bottle statue, which is facing the wrong way, bottle and cappy statue, another one, and a bunch of different little cappy statues pointing to different directions, waving at you, waving with the other hand, if that's more aesthetically pleasing to you, um, cash register, a cart, and a bunch of trash cans so you can make your own little mini arcade um area i mean you really could 
inside of Nuka World with that red rocket, or you could go do it uh, anywhere in the Commonwealth. Oh, we also have some bumper cars. I actually didn't know these were in here. So yeah, you could do a lot of different stuff, and a Nuka Cola flag. So. So that's what we have underneath the Nuka World tab of decorations. I believe we have one more item under miscellaneous. Let's go check that out. Way over here, I believe. Yes. So we have some flagpoles. So if you want, you know, if you want to rep whatever faction you're supporting in Fallout 4 with this DLC, Brotherhood of Steel, Institute, Minutemen, Railroad. Pretty sure if any of those people saw that, I mean, I guess Preston's not here, but if any of these faction people saw this, they would be outraged because clearly you can't have all these flagpoles in one place, but you know what? We're doing it. We're doing it right here. So we also have a US flagpole. So those are all of the decoration options introduced in Nuka World. That's a, one of the biggest categories, if not the biggest category. So we do have one or not one, but one category of new items underneath power, and it's underneath lights. So if we scroll all the way over here, obviously a ton of these lights were added with other workshop DLC packs, as we expect, but we have some nice street lights. So here we are, just gonna place these like this, and we got some with uh, nice Nuka World banners, things like that, going out to the left, to the right, and that's it. So you have those nice options there, and they will light your streets at night if you want to use those options. So that's it for power, nothing under defense, nothing under resources, nothing under stores. We do have some stuff under crafting, which is a tab that we really haven't gotten a lot of new stuff out of. And it is the Nuka Mixer Station. So if you go throughout Nuka World and you pick up the recipes, this is where you'll be able to um, actually you know, use those recipes and make some cool stuff. And I think the, the only difference here is the labels on top. So uh, you've got Nuka Quartz, Quantum, Orange, and Victory. So I think if you go to each of these, they all do the same thing. They're just a mixer station. So if I go up, I want to craft some stuff. Soda mixes. This is a collection of uh, recipes that I've found around Nuka World. And I can make Nuka um, Cola mixes right in my settlement, which is very, very cool. So we have a final category here of new stuff, which is Raiders. So this did pop up in an update for Fallout 4 before Nuka World came out, and it was pretty empty. It had some miscellaneous stuff in it um, that we'll see in a second, but it's filled with a lot more new stuff. So let's look at that. So we have a flags category. So we can actually designate a, uh, a settlement for a certain Raider gang. As you guys know, when you uh, progress in Nuka World, one of the goals is to come back to the Commonwealth and take... Uh, some of the settlements for a raider gang so you can take a settlement and then designate it as one for the disciples operators or the pack I've got three here I'm not sure how that affects things um, but for right now just showing off these items so that's how those flags work right there and then you have some specific decorations for the specific raider gang so I'm gonna try to find a nice place to put this on so we got the operator banner right here we've got a long operator banner here and then some specific mannequins. So this is something that you'd find in uh, the parlor dinner theater, for example. And, uh, oh, goodness, they're animatronics. I did not even realize that. That kind of creeped me out, to be honest. So training dumb dummies and animatronics and stuff like that. So you can place that stuff down. Actually kind of creepy. It's still creepy. Um, now we've got a pack category specific for the pack. So got some banners we can place. Um... Some mannequins, these are also gonna be creepy, I'm sure. These, of course, are animal looking because that's what the pack is all about. And then we have some interesting uh, furniture options. So we have the Rad Gorilla chair, a Brahmin chair, which is made out of a Brahmin, obviously, and a Feral Ghoul chair where the ghoul is actually uh, alive, so to speak, and moving. So um, that's definitely not disconcerting at all. And then a Brahmin couch, which is also a little upsetting. So, uh, yeah, pretty much what you can expect from the pack. Pretty standard stuff. Now we have uh, Disciples stuff, and there is, unfortunately, not a lot of stuff. If you like the Disciples, you kind of got shafted here, if I'm being honest. So let's find a nice wall to put this stuff on. Okay, let's just put it right here on the park map. Yeah, that's nice and nice and civilized thing to do, right? Okay, so we have that one down. Another one down, which literally just looks like a giant bloody rag. And then a Disciple totem which is uh, just a bunch of scrap metal and armor it looks like it's really creepy 
kind of fits the disciples if you ask me so anyways that's it for the disciples decorations and then we have a bunch of random miscellaneous stuff a blood trough which is what you find in the disciples area in the fizz top mountain um that's just terrible looking i i don't even there's a broken animatronic place all these guys down this is not what these guys were made for not at all and there's a lot of those in uh fizz top mountain as well so anyways really the rest of the new stuff is just these miscellaneous raider pikes uh which are just super violent as you would expect so it's gonna place all these down some of them have human heads on them uh once again very very pleasant multiple human heads actually get two for one right there place that and then one final pike and the rest of this stuff was already in the game it was just miscellaneous cages and spiked poles and stuff um, that was actually added in just a simple update but anyways guys that's it that's all of the new workshop items in this dlc once again there might be some more stuff that uh, i just don't have because i haven't beaten it yet uh, I'll update you guys in the comments below if that's the case, but this is all of the workshop stuff that you get in Nuka World, and it's a nice offering. I think most of the stuff, most of the um, you know bulk of this stuff is given to you in the decorations tab, and most of the cool stuff is in the decorations tab too, so um, that's pretty cool. But anyways, you can kind of make your own little mini arcade here. You can, you know, uh, you know, make some nuka mixer stations you can really make your settlements feel like they're a part of nuka world which is really cool and of course you can do all this stuff in red rocket in nuka world once you turn the power on but anyways guys let me know what you think about all of these uh little workshop options here uh let me know if this is you know substantial enough for you i think this is a pretty nice healthy offering considering we got less stuff with far harbor but i'd like to hear your thoughts in the comment section below all right guys today i shared all of the new workshop items introduced in the nuka world dlc pack next time we'll cover more nuka world on my channel so stay tuned for fallout 4 tips and tricks videos if you learned something new or enjoyed this video remember to hit that like button i would really appreciate it and don't forget to subscribe for more nuka world coverage my nuka world daily streams and general tips and tricks videos talk to you guys next time peace